All right, it's time to put in the radial art line, and that's a pretty common thing we have to put in for uh, our cardiac cases and for a lot of other cases. The first thing to point out is, you see my finger here, I'm pointing to the uh, where the art line is. You see the thenar eminence by the thumb, and you really want to crank the wrist back, because if you think about it, trying to have a, a needle go up and over that thenar eminence and into the artery is really going to be a problem. So you see I've cranked the wrist back. You don't want to overdo it because you can get a median nerve stretch. But you see by extending the wrist that gives you a much straighter shot. And I'm going to illustrate that with the red cap of a needle here. You see that when you have the wrist extended you get a straight shot into the artery and that makes life a lot easier. So you do your usual prep and ideally you put a little bit of local in here because the art lines do hurt. You'll notice my needle is coming in at a really shallow angle. The white needle here is coming in at a shallow angle because you want to be able to hit the needle and once you get blood advance a little bit. Okay, If you come in at a steeper angle you might go through it. So in you go and you can see that I'm now in the vein and you see I'm maintaining that nice shallow angle and a little bit of blood is coming back so you know you're in. That pulsatile blood should keep going. Now you're getting ready to slide it on in, okay? And now you're all the way into the hub. As you withdraw the needle, blood will spurt out, so you want to make sure that you reach up. You see my fingers here are reaching up and holding. And that'll keep the blood from spurting out, because once again, you don't want to make a big mess and lose points. Here I lost a point or two because a little bit of blood came out. Now it's time to hook up. You'll notice that this is a lure lock, because if you think about it, if an art line disconnects, that can be a real catastrophe patient can bleed out after all. So you want to make sure you have a lure lock there and really snug it up tight. If you have a non-lure lock connection and that thing pops out, you'll be in big trouble. 